my name is Anna. Hello, my name is Nadi. We're here in Guildford for the Solid Side Day. On the behalf of the community radio, I was a Our aim is to produce a video providing information for people living in South Africa and have side posts. Hello, I'm Jeff Page and I'm Chief Executive of Southampton Sight. We at Southampton Sight have been supporting blind and partially sighted people for uh, 115 years now. Uh, it's been a long, proud tradition and we're keen to be there for blind and partially sighted people through all stages of their sight loss and particularly at the moment a big priority for us is to talk to people when they first lose their sight. Uh, and that's because local government budgets are being cut by central government every time our colleagues in local government turn around there's yet another budget cut coming, coming their way. I'm uh, Leslie Ann Alexander and I'm the Chief Executive at the Royal National Institute of Blind People. Well, being blind can affect just about every aspect of everyday life and, and I know people are very, very scared uh, at the thought of losing their sight and, and if you're a person in an eye clinic and you hear the doctor say, I, I'm sorry, there's, there's nothing more we can do to, to save your sight, that, that is a very dark day and, and it's a very difficult uh, diagnosis. But you know, what we know at RNIB, because we work with so many blind and partially sighted people, that after you lose your sight, although life is different, it's not worse. And actually with technology and with the goodwill of the public to support people, most blind or partially sighted people do all the things their sighted friends and family do. Christine Medway, Southampton Sight. I have been living locally in Southampton for about 20 years, living with sight loss. I needed to come to Southampton Sight for some information and I never stopped. <laughs> Somebody invited me in and they were so friendly that I've stayed there and have been working as a volunteer and now as a trustee. What we'd like to do is listen to people and we've embraced really the ideas behind a group of theories called co-production. And the ideas are that we are actually strongly listening to what people who use our services want. So we're listening hard and also we're looking at people who use our services also potentially volunteering from us, but for us. So actually the, the boundaries between who's a volunteer and who is, who's a service user are very much blurred. And we think people are assets and they actually have got a lot of wisdom and experience that they can, should be able to pass on to people. Because you're losing your sight doesn't mean that you have to lose all the things that, that you love and that, that you're passionate about. Yeah, life's going to be very different, but that difference doesn't have to be worse. So stay positive, talk to other blind and partially sighted people, and go out and find either the RNIB or your local charity like this one here in Southampton, Southampton Sight.